it's been one year on the Dave Ramsey plan. One long year. Seriously, it has been one year on the Dave Ramsey plan and I cannot believe how quickly it has flown by. When we started this plan, I seriously did not think it would ever end. I really didn't. I knew it was going to be hard, but it really has gone by quickly. And I got to say, probably a lot of that is because of you guys. You guys really are the whole reason that we are still on this plan and that we are still doing this. And we haven't thrown our hands up in the air and pulled out some credit cards and gone to Disneyland. Because trust me, we've thought about it. I'm going to wait until the very, very end of the video to tell you how much we've paid off. But it it's a lot. And it's... While it's not as much as I would have liked to have done, considering our situation, it's a lot. And so what has a year done for us? Well, we have budgeted, hardcore budgeted, tracking what we've actually spent for a year. And now I got to tell you, I don't know that I will ever go back to not budgeting because it is. It's just so freeing. And well, at the end of every month, I feel like we have derailed our whole plan. We've always made our anticipated debt payments every single time. Sometimes we've been able to make them bigger, but for the most part, we've, we have, you know, hit our goals with our finances. So for that, I am ecstatic. What else has it done for us? Mauricio and I are so so much stronger as a couple because of it. We have our monthly budget meetings every month without fail, except for one month when everybody was sick and nobody wanted to talk about money. So we postponed it and we had it a couple of days later than the end of the month. It was, you know, the first week of the middle, the middle of the first week at the beginning of the month, but close enough to, to make everybody happy. And now that we put such a significant dent in our budget and we can actually see that the budget meetings aren't so bad. Um, there's no fighting about money anymore. There was a lot of fighting about money. I was constantly stressed out about money because as, as you all know, if you follow my channel for even two seconds, you know, I am the budgeter in my family. Mauricio is beyond a free spirit spender. I am, I'm a nerd spender. Um, but Mauricio is a free spirit spender, which in my world is like the most dangerous spender there can possibly be. But he has changed his free spirit ways, I guess. Not that being a free spirit is bad. Um, don't get me wrong. There is a time and a place for free spirits. And there are some times that I wish I were a free spirit, but I'm not. And I accept that about myself. And then there are times that I wish Mauricio were a little bit more of a nerd. But um, we really have gotten on the same page about things. And one of the things that I really like about what we have done is the fact that Mauricio, while being a free spirit spender, is he's able to operate within confines of, of spending. And so I've learned how to budget in my budget for a free spirit spender. And that's pretty dang impressive because Seriously, I didn't, I never thought that was something that I could even write into a budget. How do I write into a budget the fact that Mauricio is going to go out to Starbucks sometimes and he's just not going to listen to me, but I come up with a way. So that's huge. Um, our budget is I, over in the beginning, especially, let's see, we started in April and June was ugly, 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 ugly. We were derailed. And if you want to go watch that horrible video, I'll link it in the eye in the sky, but don't judge me because that was like the third video or fourth video I ever put out. I did not know what I was doing. I, I was, I was shy on camera, which I can't even imagine because I'm not shy in person. I'm just not shy. And so I talked really quietly and didn't show a lot of my real personality, but you know, once you do this for a certain amount of time, you just learn how to be yourself on camera. And so I did that. I didn't know how to edit. So it was like ridiculously long where, you know, I'm sure there were lots of ums and ahs in there. So, but it was a bad month, like bad enough that a year later, I can still remember how upset I was. And in the beginning, budgeting was hard. I mean, 
I would punish myself over little screw ups. I'd put thing, forget to put things in the budget and I would be mad at myself, but I don't, I, one, I don't really forget anything anymore except for school pictures. I seem to forget that a lot. I've been through almost a full year, so I'm learning to anticipate things um, a lot better. And as I've forgotten them previously, I now know to put them in the budget. In I, I put in a line item for that same item next year. So like in 2016, Amazon annual fees surprised me. I totally forgot about them. Totally forgot to put them in the budget. Um, that is not the case for this year. As soon as they happened last year, I put on a line item. So this year I won't forget them. They're going to be in there because there's already a line item. Personal property taxes. I didn't know about them because we hadn't lived in Virginia. I, well, I used to, I grew up in Virginia, but I haven't lived in Virginia as an adult in a long, long time. And I totally forgot about personal property taxes. So, you know, there's a line item in our budget that now for personal property taxes, every dollar yearly fee. Most of them are yearly fees. Those are the kind of things you forget. While we do still make mistakes, we're doing so much better than we were. We really are. Really, really are. So what is the biggest thing that Dave has done for us? Wait for it. Let me whisper it to you. We paid off $66,000 in debt. What? When I started my channel, I thought we had $222,000 in debt. And while we did have $222,000 in debt, that isn't what we're going to be paying to get out of debt. We were, are gonna be paying over $250,000 to get out of debt. So this process right now, if we continue at this rate, will take us, you know, four or five years. But we don't anticipate that to be the case because for example, in August, have I mentioned that in August, Melina will not be going to private school? Yeah, I've mentioned it like 20,000 times, I think. But starting in August, we're gonna have $1,500 a month, unless we put her in before and after care, we'll have $1,500 a month. And where's that going? Straight to debt. At some point, Mauricio will start a career job. The good news is, his clearance got finished this week. And so hopefully he will be able to start something very soon. While the, the job that they had originally been um, slating him for with his real job um, has been filled because it did take almost 18 months for his background check to happen. 18 months. Don't get me started on um, the federal government background checks. I mean, it, it, it's just not something I want to discuss right now, but it did take 18 months. So obviously the job that they were doing the check for is gone and has been forever. So they, you know, once they come up with a new position for him, he's ready to go. And so that is fantastic. So keep your fingers crossed, or if you're the praying kind, pray that soon Mauricio will not have to Uber and Amazon Flex to pay the bills and he will be gainfully employed in a regular full-time job. I got a promotion, so I'll be getting more money every month and that will be going to debt. So with those three things alone, I expect us to be able to really, really pick up the pace of the debt snowball. This first year, I didn't think it was gonna be quite as slow as it was, but still, when you look back, $66,000 is pretty awesome. If you're even debating about joining in on the Dave Ramsey process, you've got to do it. Tell your spouse, or if you're single, just do it. If you are single and not on the Dave Ramsey plan, I'm going to come to your house and I'm just going to smack you around until you start it. Because there is no reason whatsoever a single person should not be following this plan. Um, if you are married and you have a spouse that maybe isn't interested, work on them. Because... This is a life changer. It's a game changer, a life changer. Mauricio and I will be so much better off in the long run because of this plan. And Melina, she isn't going to graduate from college with tons of debt because with this plan, we're gonna have all the money saved up for her before she starts college. And we will be able to pay cash for her college no matter how much it costs. And that, is something that I would have never thought possible. So thank you, Dave Ramsey. 
thank you for everything that you do because you have made my life so much better because of it. So make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'll put up two videos for you to watch so you can just sit back and keep on watching. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!